Hi Taurus, welcome to your special birthday forecast. As opposed to actually, I'm already working on the advanced six months forecast for all signs. Um, it's just that there are a lot of you know there are a lot of ongoing delays. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look. How will your birthday be, and how will this year will be paving for you and all those changes that you should be expecting, right? Oh. It seems like there will be. Mm, there will be a situation in your life right now that is about to, um, let's say, about to end. Okay, especially if something isn't really working out in your favor or if someone has been like um, repetitively cheating on you or if this person is just nothing but a toxic effect on you. This person will finally be bidding goodbye in your life, okay? So you're out, well, you're, um, you're on to a new path, new journey, and you're about to open a new door. It seems like you also need to be a little bit more careful with your friends because one of them, especially if it's another earth sign, has been kind of secretly jealous and envious of you and will be betraying you. More likely just backstabbing, you know, talking behind you. Finances looks good. All right. At this point, you are feeling a little bit worried about your finances, like whether you're, you will have enough or you will be receiving enough, but you will be receiving an, uh, like a certain amount or like a lump sum of money that will be coming your way within the next uh, three days, three weeks, or three months, okay? And you will be doing fine. Ooh. You're really dealing with someone who's betraying you. Someone who is cheating on you. And someone who's been planning against you. I don't feel like this person is planning on leaving you. But they just want you to suffer and make you feel like, okay, you know, like, this is your fault. You made me do this. You made me cheat on you. That's very immature, but... Anyway, you'll still be dealing with a person. And you need to be strong if you really want to walk away. All right. Uh, be careful in smoking or if you can just uh, trim it down. Uh, mouth ulcers, mouth um, infections. Blisters, be very careful about that. Um, vitamin C, you need to increase it. Okay, now there is a new job offer. There is like a very good news that will be coming your way with regards to your profession, job offer, job opportunity, or like a you know like a like a new job offer, and you're gonna love it. It's near the water or around the water or it's going to be in the marina or cruise or ship or you know whatever it is and it seems like this will help you move away from somebody very toxic around your life that's been like inflicting a lot of negativities and a lot of dramas never ending dramas and it seems like this person even if they are a little bit older than you they think like a 16 year old person okay and they're, you know, they're pretty much relying on you financially or they're very much, you know, smart when it comes to money. Not not in a good way, but they, you know, like they just love taking advantage and all they do is just hang around during the good times. And, you know, when whenever you're in your bad times or during your, your low point in time, they sabotage everything or they walk away or they make you feel like huh okay so how does it feel to be so down and low they tend to bully you or mock you but then 
this kind of treatment and this kind of mentality and person, which is pretty much very narcissistic, it makes you strong. It made you strong from everything that they have done to you in the past. It made you realize how strong, how powerful, and how resilient, and how indestructible you are. Yet, even though that this person is, well, he's been acting more like a devil, you know, around your life, you still... You're still able to forgive them. You're still able to let them go back into your life. Or you're still able to let them march back into your turf right after all the hurt and pain. And it's like you've been asking yourself, I've treated you nothing but better. And during those times that nobody was there for you, I'm the one okay, who picked you up during at your lowest point. And now that I just needed somebody... You know, to be my partner, here you are. You know, instead of lifting me up and cheering me up, you've been mocking me. So it's, you know, the, the era of narcissists, by the way, will finally be over this year. If you've been together around 2013, uh, no, 2013, 14, and 15, that era will finally be over. Okay, their times will finally be over as those who's been with this people that they evolved, that they, um, that they, um, what do you call this? They made you put up with their BS and with their toxicities and with their darkness. You will be rising up stronger, better, more successful with a lot of money and much more stronger. And there's also another bonus. You will be meeting somebody that will be cherishing you, that will be, it's like they are the exact replica of how you are, you know, the, the goodness of your heart, the purity of your soul. It's like the way you will be treating someone, that is how they will be treating you in a good way, okay? Because this person that you've been with, um, they appeared as the two of cups, okay, before in your life. But it's not actually the uh, the twin flame. They are the, uh, the, the mirror of your um, karma. Okay? But now you will finally be meeting your other half, which is the good half. And the era of this dark person will finally and soon be over. Now, don't get me wrong. They will still be marching back into your life they will try to barge in they will still try to destroy your happiness and they will still try to climb up your walls but this time at least that you will have that guts and say no i'm done i've had enough no it's like there is something inside of you that you've finally been awakened and that it's like it feels so good to finally have that power again okay that you feel like Oh, finally, I can say no, you know, because for how many years I feel like I was under some sort of a spell and it's like, I know that this person has been undermining me and treating me like an underdog and, you know, and a doormat. And it's like, why can't I have the power to say no? So finally, you will be regaining back yourself. You will be regaining yourself and your, you know, your, um... Your, 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 um, what do you call this? Like, um, it's like you can, you know, your, your sense of willfulness, okay? You can finally be willing out those things that you really want to manifest in your life. And you will be ending up with someone who's very good in business, all right? Anyway, speaking of business, you are so worried about money. You are so worried about your growth. You are so worried about your stability. But where are you not? Because I feel like your finances this year will still be growing stronger, okay? Or it's not going to grow that big, but it will be stable. Now, some of you are worried about, oh, when will I find a job? Or I get, I just got fired from a job or I, I've been like redundant and, you know, like uh, I'm suffering now from, from losses and everything. If you will be focusing on the problem, nothing is really happening to you or nothing is really going to happen to you. But if you will be focusing on the solution, okay, don't think too much about it. And, you know, like you need to um, take it easy. The right answer 
for you will be coming in a form of another help, another person, another opportunity. All right? Just don't be too stressed out about it. There's also like a big check or like a lump sum of money that will be coming your way, which is, I told you, within the next three days, three weeks, three months. And there will be some change of environment and change of situation. And it seems like you will be very happy because you will also be joining. Oh, some of you will be joining an army or will be supplying some... I don't know, some stuff about ammunitions or it's like you will be into some defense or military thing, okay? And that is going to be like a very good business for you. Meanwhile, which is I've already mentioned to you and I've already explained this love thing to you. You're very much aware that there's already like an ongoing betrayal that's already happening. And you feel like, oh, what about our foundation? We've been together for so long. And this is the reason why you keep on incurring losses. Because you're holding on to something that isn't really there. You know, the foundation is very shallow. And this person just keeps on getting and getting and getting and getting. While, yeah, it's it's um, you keep on working. You keep on, like, um, providing for them and they just keep on taking and taking and taking and taking and it's like they're also living the life of a um, like a queen or king out of your own pocket but now things are about to change as some of you will be relocating some of you will be moving to a new place or a new house there will be some, you know, if you will get a divorce, expect that there will still be some back and forth. Or if you are just living together or you're just in a relationship, expect that there will still be more bickering and bantering. And you need to learn how to defend yourself away from this person's negative impact. Okay, it's not that easy to end this relationship, but I feel like it will be, you know, it will be done for good. All right singles looks like you will be meeting the love of your life this end of the year or the last quarter of the year you will be dating somebody with a very strong personality very tacky strategic a little bit younger than you and this person is dark haired um very can't say what but it's very pale their, their skin is very pale or if they're a little bit light-skinned okay they're not so dark but they are more light-skinned um, if it's with, uh, for a man you will be meeting someone with a very um, it's like a curly reddish and dark hair and for women you will be meeting someone with a, a little bit curly or wavy hair okay and they're very tall as well. Okay. Now, when it comes to your health, it seems like don't self-medicate. Especially if you've been feeling a little bit, you know, sick. Um, it's your eyesight that will be more of a problem. And it seems like you will also be suffering from blisters, mouth ulcers. Well, it's like you will also have some outbreak in your mouth or in your, you know, there will be some infections that you'll be suffering from. Oh, and be careful in, you know, kissing unusual animals i mean some people is very you know like very intimate with their pets or with other other animals and they think that they can just simply kiss them or you know whatever it is so be very careful because you might get the infection from them and for those of you who's been like um, having some multiple partners you may also get this from oro okay now um you also need to go and check out your eyesight, okay, your vision. You will also be experiencing some blurriness and nausea. I feel like you also need to check out your your blood sugar. Stick around with organic stuff. Remain focused. 
You will also be experiencing some depression, confusion, and lethargy. Um, it's much better if you are able to walk or at least, you know, go quickly near the water, it, it'll be better. But if not, when you get the chance, please take some time to go and dip into the water or spend more time into the water. And avoid mingling with other people, even though that there are some cities right now that will that their lockdowns will be lifted. Still avoid it. And avoid having multiple partners or getting involved with anyone. Plus, you need to focus on yourself and start pampering yourself. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this birthday of yours. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. All right. Happy birthday to you, Taurus. Thank you.